Auckland's FM. Um, I'm here with you until two o'clock and I'm delighted to welcome back a lady I spoke to, I can't remember when it was now, two, three, four months ago? Probably more than that. Maybe Probably, more I think than it was that. summertime. So. La- oh, last summer then. Yeah. Okay, and she is Marnie Higgins from Answer Investigations. I know you're here to talk about your new networking group, Marnie, but just briefly, would you mind just telling us what Answer Investigations do? Okay, we're a private detective company, um, which obviously on, on the first hearing, people don't even know what that means. We cover a broad broad spectrum of, of uh, different things, um, you know, from private things, which would be the stereotypical view of sort of cheating spouse you know, through to corporate, legal... A you know, wide, wide variation in the things that we do. Um, also, sort of spanning ranges. I'm, I myself, I'm quite young, um, so we've got a variation of sort of people and variation of clients and jobs and that sort of thing. You were here before with your with your business partner, weren't you, Isla? Is <laughs> business she your business partner? partner? Colleague, your colleague, your yeah. colleague. Okay. Yeah. And you were you were fascinating talking about because, as you said, you are quite young. I mean, twenty one ish or I'm something. Twenty. Twenty. Yeah. Gosh. And Isla's in fact still nineteen. She's and she's nineteen. 19 and these two young girls were here telling me how you are sent out to. Um, spy on men who won't pay uh, maintenance and all that sort of stuff and, yeah. and all the ways that you do that and you're obviously very 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 go ahead and I'm, so I imagine you're employed, you get a lot of work from various from various people. Yeah, well, I mean, we're sort of as the, the younger, the younger lot of us. We actually have a dedicated website, teendetective.co.uk, because it has become quite a niche. Um, you know, sort of realizing how much we can get away with being younger. You know, people don't bat an eyelid if we stand knock, knock on your door with a survey and say it's for college. Could you answer some questions? And, and mm. people do. So, the, the teen side of it, you know, we've become quite a niche. And then. Um, you know, sort of Isla and Isla working full time at the moment. I'm actually at university, but sort of working full time in the holidays, and, um, and I'm only in London as well, so I get to sort of carry on doing jobs whilst I'm studying, which is great for me. Um, you know, we get involved in all sorts of different things. I mean, this evening I'll be up in London, um, and that is the stereotypical, the sort of uh, checking out what what the fiance is doing. But um, oh, so really? What? So somebody's rung you and said, "Would you check on my fiance?" Yeah, yeah. So sort of doing it over over the course <laughs> so, of the weekend, a couple of different so what? Times. You're literally following this chap for the whole weekend yeah, women women oh we're following this it woman does, we, we get it both way rounds. it's, it's uh, very easy to sort of very quickly jump and it's sort of men yeah, following yeah, their yeah. wives or wives following their husbands and i it's, it's the majority probably is is women asking us to follow their husbands or partners but no tonight's a, a younger younger fiance female so we'll sort of pick her up from work and, and see where the evening takes her so Friday when you night. say you're going to pick her up from work what are you going to do uh, well, we'll uh, we, obviously we know where she works because yes. you know, yeah. the clients have given us all the details, and um, so we'll you know sort of be within the area with a view of where she comes. And it's Friday evening; it's a nice day. It's London; they're likely to go to a pub afterwards, and it's sort of seeing you know how the sort of general group you know get you know gets gets get smaller and smaller, and uh, and see if there's a sort of a particular person that she's perhaps spending more time with than than that is appropriate. <laughs> and you're spending the whole weekend following this poor woman. <laughs> Who's just got engaged to this man who doesn't trust her? Uh, I think I think we have to be we have to remember that for someone to actually get to the stage of phoning us up, yes, they generally do have. It, it's almost people are very sure, and it's a case of of actually having the evidence. Partly because you just drive you drive yourself mad, um, you know. Very often it's especially sort of when the when we have women clients, um, you know. They know that that's what's going on, and they just don't want to be taken for a fool anymore. And you sort of need the need the actual proof. So it's you know try not to make it look as if it's just sort of very paranoid people, and, and you know no, we're, no, we're there's a following strong... around these people that are doing nothing wrong. Generally, it's almost certain that they are, and we're just there to sort of you know back Verified. that up. Yeah, exactly. how fascinating! I hadn't realised when you were here before that actually you were studying as well. I thought that this was just your business. So where are you? Where are your university in London, you said? I'm at Brunel University. Yes. And what so are you West studying? London. I'm doing psychology. So, so that must help with this. It, they are, well, yeah, <laughs> both, both ways, in fact. I mean, my long-term ambition is forensic psychology. So it's working with criminals and, and rehabilitation and prisons and mm. all that sort of thing. So they, they very much complement each other. My studies help my job and my job helps my studies. So, it's, so it's are there, how does your business run then if you're studying? I mean, you, you manage to just juggle it all? Well, no, I'm, I'm, just, I'm just employed by them. I think oh. I, with their sort of teen the teen section sort of Isla and I managed to sort of head it up um, but it's a, it's, a, it's a larger company I mean, it's, a, oh, okay. it's a small business but a, you know a fairly sizable small business okay. and we've got offices sort of in various places with the headquarters being in, in Guildford okay so now let's talk about what you actually came in here to talk about yes, <laughs> which is networking you're adding something else another string to your bow so. yeah we, um, we started uh, from May the 7th will be our, our first one it's called First Friday it's a free networking event um, which was sort of they run them in Sussex um, and 
and we sort of brought it into Surrey and we'll sponsor the event. Um, and it's just a sort of network, you know, standard networking event, but a little bit more fun, a little bit more funky. Um, the venue is going to be the Boiler Room in Guildford, which is a, a gig venue, um, which is sort of you know, at night, it's all sort of dark and lighted, but during the day it's a really nice space. Mm. Um, and it's got a bar, it's also got a noodle, sort of Chinese, Chinese takeaway as well. So it's a sort of, you know, networking event, free about between sort of 70 and 100 people um, expected to come on the first one next month um, and just you know the the best way to spread the word is sort of through face to face contact and word of mouth and it's just a chance for local businesses local businessmen to come have a have a nice time and and make some contacts and talk business and what will the format of, of the is it what are, what are the hours and how will the format work well they run um oh gosh actually i'm not sure exactly what time it's starting around lunchtime sort of yeah. just early, early yeah. afternoon um and again you know try and keep it fairly informal there'll obviously be a, a welcome for you know, two to three minutes at the beginning and then it's just a case of you know bring bring along your business cards and some materials and, and get talking to people really and why did you decide you wanted to do this well I mean it's just uh, for obviously for us it's a great chance for us to meet more meet more mm. businesses and we have you know, sort of 70% of our work comes from from the corporate side of things so obviously for us that's that's hopefully going to be beneficial and we'll make some contacts um, but you know really just sort of being a being a smaller business it's it's nice to get into the sort of community of, of smaller businesses and, and and sort of help people to um meet and greet really especially with the sort of current climate that we are we're i think also moment. where because there are a lot of networking things around mm. and we've talked about a lot of them on the show i go to a lot of them myself mm. but i think what will be really good about yours is that you're going to get a very young market yeah well i mean we're sort of obviously broad, you know broad it's the same with our business I mean sort of on the phone our clients don't um, when, I no. speak, when I speak to a client they don't no. know that I'm 20 they, 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 they might just be, as well be speaking to the 40, you know, mm. 40 year old male uh, which we you know we obviously do, do, do have um, so yeah we just uh, I think the face of our business is, is, is very varied you know sort of people look on our website you look around and you see the, the vast difference between you know the youngest being 19 the oldest being 60 something yeah. um you know we're, we're very business and it, it's quite interesting i think hopefully it'll be, catch people's attention um you know if only just to find out that you know private detectives do exist and what we do <laughs> yes no exactly it is it is a bit of a sort of silent market mm. and i think i think that's, that's a great idea now with the um the networking event do, do people have to register to go along or because or do they just turn up well, we've sent out lots of lots of invites and that mm. sort of thing and then yeah, they're, they're, we've got a dedicated website which is oh, sorry dedicated email address uh, firstfriday.uk.com and uh uh, sorry, first Friday at answers.uk.com. There we go. Um, so you know, if anyone listening wants to wants to give us a shout, then then very much do so. You're very very welcome. Uh, our phone number is oh one four eight three two hundred nine nine nine. So give us a call. Uh, you may well have received a, received an email or, or some posts from us anyway. Um, but yeah, it's very very open to all. Um, I you know we're sort of getting trying to get down you know numbers of who's attending mm. so so we can let the let the venue know and that sort of thing. But no, in general, very much. If you fancy it, do pop. A along and um and get talking to other businesses yes i might come along myself just to have another chat with you i find you absolutely fascinating <laughs> well i was going to say please do i hope you have got someone from the uh, from this end coming yes to see us. we must definitely come and do that yeah. thank you so much marnie always a pleasure to talk to you and and, and good luck tonight thank you very much <laughs> i hope it won't be going on too long and i'll get to sleep at some well, that's true. i guess you, you probably if she's if she's still out there rocking at four o'clock in the morning you've got to yeah we've got to start again at midday tomorrow yeah. so, uh, so so do you try and befriend somebody like that or do you just discreetly watch no, them area Yes, it's, it's sort of keeping a distance. It's observation. And, um, I mean, obviously, again, joy of us. I mean, and uh, this is the old, older, older folk. That's a terrible word. Older, yeah, older people that I work with will do do the same sort of thing. But again, joy of, of me. I'm actually going with a 22 year old today. Yeah. So, um, so we'll blend into the, the bars and um, you know, she's quite trendy. I think this lady. So, um, hopefully, we won't should be, be too a good noticeable. fun night out. Yeah, <laughs> should be. Yeah, I'll only bar the alcohol, unfortunately. Yeah, of course. <laughs> keep, keep a clear head. Exactly. Okay. Thank you very much, thank Marnie. Very much. There, and I look forward to seeing you at your networking event. Good luck with it. Um, now we take a short break. Radio 